It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, South Africa has become the first mega diverse country to fully assess the status of its entire flora. Nearly a quarter of the South African flora is considered either threatened with extinction or conservation concern. Now, the Cape Floristic Region Custodians of Rare and Endangered Flowers, known as CRU, is a citizen science program that makes use of volunteers passionate about plants, many of which are still members of the Botanical Society. Society of South Africa. Crew data feeds into the IUCN red listing data with the Sanbi Threatened Species Program and is a way for the general public to make a meaningful contribution to conservation of our unique natural heritage. And on the phone with us this morning, we have Gigi Laidler, a member of the crew, uh, or of crew rather, to tell us more about the organization and her recent discovery on Lion's Head in Cape Town. Gigi, good morning and welcome to Expresso. Good morning, Leanne. Now, Gigi, my first question to you is how exactly does CREW monitor the conservation of plants in South Africa? As you said, we do um, look, work with a bunch of volunteers who are knowledgeable people. Um, most of them are um, ordinary members of society, and they have a very deep interest in botany. And um, we have got... Crew volunteer nodes all over the country, especially in the areas where we've got the highest density of threatened species, which are in the Cape Floristic region. The Eastern Cape is very threatened, um, KZN, and there's some areas in the Mpumalanga and Mpopo, and <clears throat> also up the West Coast in the, the, the drier areas of, of the Namakuland, mm -hmm. where we have um, a lot of threatened species. So we work with volunteers who go out in the field, as she showed just now, mm -hmm. and we record the species that we see. Um, we go out armed with a list of threatened species that we need to be looking for, you know, our target species, mm -hmm. and we're looking for particularly the critically endangered and the um, most vulnerable species. Kiki, as a country, should we be concerned about the future of our indigenous fauna and flora? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. There are huge pressures um, from the growing population and you know, there's a huge demand for land, for housing, for food production, for industry, for recreation. <clears throat> and also we have a, a very, very big threat from invasive species that are out-competing our local flora. And, and, and causing huge damage to our landscape. So yes, no, we have a big reason to be very concerned. Gigi, I alluded to it a little bit earlier on, but can you tell us more about your recent expedition up Lion's Head and what it means to rediscover a critically endangered and previously thought to be extinct plant? Well, it's a very exciting thing to find a, <clears throat> a species which has been um, presumed to be extinct because the... Um, it's, it's like going on a treasure hunt when you go out looking for your for your threatened species, but it does it does indicate that there's a lot that we don't know about our flora and and about our um, you know the, the life forms of many of these plants which were only seen a long time ago. Um, the the um, Polycarini siren, which I discovered on Lion's Head, had been discovered in the early 1800s and hasn't been recorded since 1940, which was why it was presumed to be extinct. Mm -hmm. And um, going out and finding this tiny little plant, which looks quite insignificant when you, when you first see it, is, is a very special um, thing to do. Wow, thank you so much, Gigi. And thank you for monitoring our endangered plant species and making sure that we conserve it as much as possible. That was Gigi Laidler from Crew. And if you would like to find out more information on how you can be involved with Crew as well, you can go to www.sanb.org. Well, it is time for us to check out what's happening next in our news headlines.